I just got the kids on the bus and I'm about to get started uh, finishing the egg breakfast video. Um, as I believe I stated the in previous videos, the freezer the freezer went, and we so I didn't want to take up that much space because we had very little space. What was in with the fridge? I didn't want to take up that space for, you know, breakfast stuff with so many breakfast things. How about that? So, I kind of held off till we got the freezer. We finally have a freezer. And I'm about to get started making the, um, I'm calling them frittatas, but I'm not so sure that's what they're called. But it's just an egg thing that I'm making in a, um, in a uh, muffin pan. I'm making it in a muffin pan. It hopefully has ham. I don't remember if I bought the ham. And it has uh, feta cheese. The feta, it just adds it to another level, guys. The salty, cheesy, it just adds it to another level. It's so good. Um, I never made this before. I did make something similar where the there was a piece of ham on the outside. The ham kind of gets rubbery, so we're going to try and skip that portion and just put little chunks of ham inside. Hopefully that helps. And uh, yeah, that is the goal. Uh, I know, I can see my breath. I don't know if you can. It's early. The kids just got on the bus. I wanted to quickly come say this before we get started. Also, I'm sorry that you don't actually see me in the videos because I just don't know how to do the angles where you can see what I'm doing and see me. So I'd rather you see what I'm doing than seeing me. And that's why you just see what I'm doing. So I figured I would just come on and explain everything. In the first portion of the video you may see me talk about uh, the kids getting ready to go back to school or starting school well now it's vlogmas so it's been a while since we have been without the freezer so that's why this video may be a little confusing but that's why because it was started when school was starting now we're already up to vlogmas not Christmas vacation, but vlogging. So, I just wanted to clarify that. So, I guess let's go. It's time to get to work. Okay, I'm gonna add all this ham, and this will be the true test of if I have enough uh, eggs, or if I need to add more, because I do not want leftover ham. So let's see. Right out the gate, I'm going to say, definitely need more eggs. Though my kids would definitely love it this way, I still have to add the feta, so I know I need more cheese. Oh, 
use the lid so we don't make a mess. It says easy shaker, so let's see. It is cute. We're probably going to use most of that though. I'm going to go too crazy with the eggs because I do want the ingredients to shine. Just personal preference. Okay, so, so far we have 17 eggs. I think that's done. Because I think that the eggs will fluff. It'll be perfect. Okay. So let me wash my hands in the um, tin and then we'll get started. So we got this washed. Um, I'm preheating the oven to 350. I just want to spray it. I don't want any issues. You know what? I was thinking one egg per bowl. So I have 20. I think I need four more eggs. Cause there's 24 here. I'm gonna use an ice cream scoop. Hopefully it works. Let me just see. Let me eyeball it. So my thought behind this is going to be I need four marks. Okay, so, more like half an egg per cup, but I'm going to use the rest, I have another uh, pan, so this is not going to waste. These I'm going to put in the oven because I just, they're going to take up the whole oven. I can't put both in together, and I don't believe, I'm only going to put it in for like, I don't know, 10 minutes. I'm not going to put it in that long. We'll see after 10 minutes. I'll tell you the final, you know, amount once it's completely cooked. But I really feel like I was wrong on measuring. But I'm not hating because, oh, and if you noticed, I did not add any salt because of the ham. And this cheese is delicious, but it's super salty. So I did not add any salt. And the reason why I didn't add pepper 
is basically because I can't eat pepper. And my son, who is the one who's going to be eating this, doesn't really like pepper. So I figure there's no point in putting it in. So let's get this in the oven so he can start cooking. And then I am going to... I'm setting the timer for 10 minutes. I am going to, oops, wash another muffin pan and pan, and you'll see me fill it with that. Okay, so I got this. This one is smaller. It is only 12 muffins. Oh, I gotta spray it. I gotta decide to talk about it. I gotta spray it, because we don't want no stickage. There we go. Okay, so we'll see how many we do in this one. Let's get started. Okay, so there you have it. 12 eggs makes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 24 eggs makes 32 little egg bites, which you can tell they're not even. We probably could have done a little more. But we got three minutes left on the other ones. So, oh, do you guys want to take a peek? Let me turn on the other light and let's see if you guys can peek at it. Ooh. Two more minutes and we'll check it and see what we're working with. You guys might have to back up, but at least you get to see them when they're done. Let's see. Oh no. Let me get a toothpick or something. They do not look good. Scratch that, I don't have a toothpick. So, I'm just going to. They're not done. We're gonna do another eight minutes. Okay? So meet me back here in eight minutes, guys. Okay, this time I think they look done. Oh yeah. Try and get them in a little. Just so we can look at them in all of their gorgeousness. I also have to try and freeze them individually so they can be put in bags. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna come in. <laughs> I don't want to touch it, but look at that. Look how beautiful that is. It's not all brown. It's nice, beautiful, fluffy egg, and it came right out. So the first batch, just an FYI. I did for 18 minutes. The second batch, because the oven's been on for quite a while, I am starting now off again at 10 minutes. And the next time I'm only gonna do five. I'm not gonna do eight because like I said, it has been on and cooking. So it's definitely a lot hotter than when I started with these ones. So we'll see when the other ones are done. Okay, these ones have been 10 minutes. I'm just gonna do five more minutes. And go from there. Okay, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Ooh, look how, just take a minute to 
loud like that. But I see two that are screaming out the. Yeah. That one and that one. But you know what? I think their neighbors are done. So. I think I want to get them out. I've been turning them upside down when I take them out. Pull them off a little quicker. I mean, that's the thought process behind it anyway. Just so they uh, can go in the freezer. If they want to freeze them. I'm going to do like three more minutes. I don't want to overdo it because they are going to be microwaved. From the cheese on the hand. <laughs> Got them. I'm looking in the wrong spot one time. So what I'm doing now is I'm taking them out, I'm putting them upside down, as you can see here, and I'm putting them in the freezer and kind of partially freezing them so I can put them all together in one giant Ziploc and they won't freeze together as one giant egg. And then any morning Logan wants him, he can go in, take as many or as little as he wants, put them on a plate, throw them in the microwave, boom, breakfast is ready. Okay, so it's been a few minutes. I just got the eggs out of the freezer. I have freezer bags. I'm gonna put the eggs in. I just got them out of the um, freezer. I'm just going to throw them in. I have a few minutes to get them in. I'm not going to stack them because they're not fully frozen. They're just frozen enough to uh, put them together. So I will be using more than one bag. And again, putting them back in the freezer to continue to freeze. By the little cells. I don't know, I'm just catching up as I try to make sure you can see everything. I'm trying to stick an angle so I don't know if you can see anymore. Okay, so this one's gonna go in. Oh, just like this. I just saw a little flash freeze. Okay, so this one does have two on top. Because there's just two, I don't want to open a whole other bag. There we go. There they are. So, 
ready to go into over Okay. Now, breakfast is 